Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we are here with a Sacred Eels Fishing Guide for Old School RuneScape in my Endless Adventure make as many guides as possible. Hopefully you guys enjoy the guide. If you do, make sure to leave a like, helps the channel and the video a ton. But with that said, let's go ahead and get on into it. So we'll start with the requirements for Sacred Eels. It's going to be a pretty high bar with 87 fishing. So it is a somewhat niche high level method for fishing. However, it is pretty viable and we'll talk about that in a second. Beyond that, 72 cooking is also going to be needed so that you can dissect these Sacred Eels so that you will be fishing and turning them into Zora Scales. Also, along with the skilling stats, you are going to need the Regicide quest to be completed to access the Western Province where this all lies. For the hourly rates, you can expect anywhere from 15 to 25k fishing XP per hour. In addition to that, 20 to 40k cooking XP per hour and 200 to 400k GP per hour. Within these rates, you'll notice that the cooking XP and the GP per hour scales at a different rate than the fishing XP. That is because you can bring Spirit Flakes here and that will increase both of those rates. So you might be asking yourself, is it worth it? In my opinion, I believe so. It is great for AFKing, so if you're someone that's trying to take a little bit of a break from the game and still do something that's worthwhile to you, like we just mentioned, it offers you decent XP, decent GP, and it's pretty AFK, so all that combined makes it somewhat worthwhile in my opinion. And beyond that, it is also a great pet chance. Every single time you catch one of these, there's a one in a 100,000 chance that you will get a pet. And I know that doesn't sound great, but compared to most skilling methods in game, a one in a 100,000 chance on something that you will do a very, very often is not the worst rate. So if you want a heron pet, also a decent route about that. For the items needed here in the gear setup, we have the angler's outfit that you can wear for extra XP per hour. There's also the Rada's Blessing that depending on which level of diary you have completed depends on the boost percentage of fish that it will give you. And then there's the Dragon Harpoon that you can use for its special attack, which is a plus three to your fishing level. And then moving on over to the inventory, we have Fishing Bait along with a Fishing Rod and then a knife to cut open these Sacred Eels. I also have Spirit Flakes as an optional item that you can bring if you've done a good amount of Temporos. I do have a guide on that as well if you need to check it out. Then there's also the Pearl fishing rod you could bring this instead of a dragon harpoon if you wanted to save one inventory space just an optional little item that you could throw in there yourself it's attainable via the aerial fishing mini game which not a lot of people do to be real with you so we're gonna have to make our way to the elven area the fishing spots are located right here and this is the zora entrance right here so if you know the lay of the land you'll know how to get here very simply there are three different methods that are very close. You have the Zora Teleport Scroll that you can use to get here that costs about 20k. There's also the Fury Ring Code BJS along with a Stepping Stone that requires 76 agility. And then finally, there is a charter ship up here that you can take from any charter and then run to the south. So I'm gonna go with the teleport method because that is easy and it makes for a smoother video. Once you're here, then to the north, there will be a couple spots here that are highlighted for me. They may not be highlighted for you. What I would do if I'm on the Runelight client, make sure to have tile markers flicked on, and then from there you can hold the shift button and tag all, and then it will show you where the areas that you can fish from are located, because it can be a little bit hard to see from time to time. So I like to have it on, just makes it all a little bit easier. Then also if you want to make the most out of your AFK and you're on the Runelight client, there are two different plugins I'd recommend you check out. That is the Idle Notifier along with the Runelight plugin. It is a plugin just called rune light and under the rune light plugin there is a notification settings basically if you set it all up as is on screen whenever you go afk your screen will flash keeps you constantly engaged at a place like this especially when you're fishing and the spots just go away at random it's very very helpful to keep your character moving as is with most fishing methods it's a pretty simple idea here just go ahead and beat the fishing spot and then from there you can sit back and relax you will use a spear flake every single time you catch one of these whether or not you catch two or one these are pretty coveted on an account, so it's up to you whether or not you want to come here with your Spirit Flakes or not. You do make more GP by having them, and you also get more cooking XP by having them, but they may be better used elsewhere depending on your account and what your goals are. So keep that in mind, but it is a really simple process. Essentially, once you get done with an inventory, then you can either just use your knife on a Sacred Eel and sit back and watch your account go to work. Or you can do the cracked out method where you just click back and forth on sacred eels constantly and get it done a lot quicker. This is somewhat satisfying to watch the cooking XP come down while doing this, so I will admit that. 
However, of course, they're not as AFK. So up to you on if you want to do that or not, but really that's the only sort of differentiator here that can change up how good you're doing. But that is going to be it for this guide. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, as soon as I go live, make sure to subscribe. And I also have a Discord, a Twitch, and many other places that you can check myself and community at down below in the description. But with that said, hopefully you have a wonderful day and uh, peace.